Hello. In the previous videos, we saw creation of queue and a creation of a bot which can process the queue. In this video, we are going to see creation of a device pool and the final step of automating the queue with the device pool. So let us quickly see that. So I have the queue in front of me. So if I open the queue, this is the queue, which has got about 200 work items. And if I go to devices, and if we check the device pools, I have a device pool created. So this is the device pool created, uh, which has the following three devices. It has got the three devices, desktop, uh, and it ends with 87, then they win dash one and windows dash areas dash V. So this is the device pool, which has got three devices. I am the owner for that device and consumers, which is one of the important part for device pool or for the queues, you need to have consumers. So what are consumers? Consumers are the people in this role, WLM1, who can run bot with this queue onto the device pool. So these people in this role can consume the device pool or they can consume the queues if you got the consumer for the queue. Now, what we are going to do is because now we got the three main entities created, the queues, uh, the bot which process the queue and the device pool. We are now going to run bot with queue. So I'm going to say bots, my bots, and I'm going to say run bot with queue. And I'm going to select mortgage bot. I'm going to say next. I'm going to select mortgage queue. And I'm going to say next. I'm going to select those three bot runners. Three bot runners. I have got those three bot runners on my RDP manager. And I'm going to add them. And I'm going to say next. And I'm going to say work on this device pool. The device pool has got the exact three bot runners. I'm going to say next, and I'm going to say run bot with queue. So that's it. The mortgage queue, it will say it's in use. And we'll see that the bots will start coming up on these devices. So the bots have now started processing the mortgages for each of those users in the, in the queue. We can see the progress in the activity page. In the activity page, we can see the progress as well. Uh, right now, there are other automations running for this user as well. But if you go to the queues, and if you go to mortgage queue, you can see the various states. So what are all the work items in active? But obviously, there will be three work items active because we've got three devices, three bot runners which all work items have been completed. So work items which have been completed. So about 46 work items have been completed. And the important thing to note here is the bot, it has conveyed the data back to the control room that the result, the mortgage result for this user is 63587. So the bot is actually computing the mortgage for each of the user. And the bot is then pulling the data back to the control room as work item result. This we saw in the in the creation of a bot for WRM. The bot is pulling back the result to, to the queue, which is then displayed here in the queue progress. So if you refresh this, you'll see that more and more work items are getting progressed, which you can see here in the RDP manager. So that's about creation of device pool and processing the queue onto the device pools. Thank you.